Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in today on uh, Cast Iron Wednesday. Some of you that's been with me for a while know that I moved here when I was a young man from Tennessee. My family on both sides were farmers from Mississippi. My grandmothers on both sides were the best southern cooks you could ever imagine. And an old staple that people used to have them for breakfast was right here. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to make tomato gravy. Welcome to Blue Collar Backcountry, a channel about hiking, backpacking, gear reviews, and foolishness. I will let that rest a minute. Our Dutch oven ought to be good and hot by now. Let's get some biscuits in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's hot. Some big biscuits. Oh yeah. All right. Now we're sitting on not just dead level, but we're going to turn that every once in a while. And we'll get started on our tomato gravy. All right, I know some of y'all saw my last video where I showed my old Coleman 502. Those stove was made in 1965, and I'm gonna tell you what, that old stove never fails. I don't use it much, but it never fails. All right, a good old <laughs> southern staple in just about any house in the south. Good old bacon grease. You gotta have bacon grease. And we're gonna put about about four tablespoons in there. It doesn't have to be exact. Alright, now we got our four four tablespoons of bacon grease good and melted. We're gonna add three pretty good tablespoons of all-purpose flour. They kinda heaping, but that's okay. Then all depends on how you like your gravy. Alright. And we're gonna stir that for a little bit. Now before somebody freaks out on me down there in the comments, let me go and bust this myth right now. It ain't gonna hurt your cast iron to use metal utensils if you got your stuff seasoned right. My family's been cooking like that forever. Give us a little gravy going here. Oh yeah, it's going to be good. Alright, and see that's looking like a little gravy right there, isn't it? The bacon grease is wonderful. Alright, now, I can't get any good tom tasting tomatoes around here and I don't have a garden anymore. So what I've done is I went ahead and got some uh, can of stewed tomatoes, one can. We're going to pour the whole can in there. We're going to get that diced up a little bit. Here's something I found. Slap your mama. Ooh, this is good stuff. And it's just a mixture of salt, pepper, red pepper, and uh, what else? A little bit of garlic. This is good stuff. And you just want to season to taste. This is just a tad spicy. 
It's okay, I like it that way. All right, looking good so far. Okay. Now very, very carefully, we're gonna add 16 ounces of water I've already got measured out. Very carefully in that hot cast iron pan. We're just going to add that in slowly. All right, we're going to bring it back up to a simmer. We're going to let that sit there and simmer for a while. And Old South, people didn't let much of anything go to waste. You heard the old saying about the pig. Well, nothing left over but to squeal. <laughs> Same way with their vegetables. Somebody had a good crop of tomatoes. Y'all know that, man, sometimes you can have an overabundance of tomatoes pretty easily. So that's how this came about. People figuring out what they're going to do with all them extra tomatoes. And this developed over the years. People just got fancy with it. Used milk instead of water. Some of them used cream. Some of them mixed a little thyme in there. Some of them put some bacon bits in it, but this is just old South tomato gravy. Let's let that get simmering now. We don't want to forget about those biscuits either, because we're going to come over there and we're going to give those a little turn every once in a while. And not just the, the Dutch oven, but we're going to turn that lid a little bit too. Because we want those biscuits to cook nice and even. And we want those to cook for about 20 minutes. Resist the temptation to pull that lid off and take a look at them. Let that heat out. All right, y'all can see we got a really good simmer going. And what we're going to do is going to just let it sit there and simmer, stir it, keep it from sticking. And we're just going to let that water cook down until we get this gravy to the consistency that we want. I don't like mine just super thick, but I don't want it real watery either. All right, y'all, don't forget, like I said, you got to remember to. Turn that Dutch oven every once in a while. Let's go ahead and pull that lid off. You can see I got a little bit of butter melting over here under with some charcoal under that. Oh my gosh, yes. We're gonna take some of this butter and we're just gonna baste the tops of the oh that's already so flaky it's falling apart. We're gonna baste the top of these biscuits real quick and give them just a couple of more minutes. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, those are going to be ready very quickly. Oh yeah. All right, I turned the heat way down on my tomato gravy. Let it sit there and slowly simmer while I was waiting on those biscuits. And you see that consistency? Oh yeah, we got some gravy now. Good old tomato gravy. Let's get some of those biscuits out and plate this up. All right, let's take another look at those biscuits after we basted them with a little bit of that butter. And that's butter, it's not margarine. Oh, oh yes, here we go. <laughs> yes, sir. We've got biscuits. Let's go eat. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> They're just falling apart, look. Oh man. All right, let's start out with two. Would you look at that? Two of those biscuits is a plateful. Let's take some of that butter that we heated up. We'll drizzle a little butter over. All right, now for the star of the show. Some good old southern tomato gravy. Oh, this looks good. Smells good too. Of course, I love tomatoes on anything, so you got to love tomatoes to begin with, but tell you what, this right here, some old time southern cooking right here, buddy. Oh, I'm just going to drown them too. <laughs> got to love it. I probably eat too much salt, but I figure I work it off. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I've got to where I love to slap your mama. We're going to put a little bit of that on there in place of the salt and pepper. Woo, baby, let's chow down. You know, when I was a young boy growing up in the south, 
we didn't realize this was soul food. This was just cooking. And that's kind of the way everybody cooked. We didn't know any different. Well, I'll tell you what. We're fixing to dig in, and we're going to give this a try. Mmm. <laughs> oh, my God. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Good old tomato gravy. Mmm. If you never tried it, you need to at least give it a try. Like I said, it's got sophisticated these days. People using milk and cream and thyme and all these flavors and stuff. This is just old South tomato gravy. And it's good stuff. Hey, thanks y'all for stopping in today. If you have any questions about it, leave me a question down there in the comments. And, uh, in the meantime, I'll see y'all later. I'm going to finish this up. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't forget the best thing for your inside is uh, tomato gravy outside. Mm. And if that looked good to you, hit that like button down there. Thanks, y'all.